Greetings to our Word on Fire family. I'm standing here in the beautiful courtyard of Oriel College, one of the principal colleges of Oxford University. We're here because we made the transition from Chesterton to Newman. We'll be talking now the next several days about John Henry Newman. Newman was a fellow here at Oriel College, so he was a, a tutor, a, a professor here. Just over my shoulder, you can see his rooms there near the uh, chapel. Newman, you know, was very much of an establishment figure, an Oxford man, Oxford uh, professor, leader of the Oxford movement, a major figure in English society. When he became a Catholic, it was not simply a, a matter of, oh, changing a little denominational identity. It meant abandoning his position in the English establishment. It meant leaving this place, no longer being able to lecture here, to preach here. It was a real uh, life-changing, heart rending sort of decision. I always think of that now when I, um, I come to, to uh, Newman's uh, Oxford. We'll be filming around here today. We were at Littlemore yesterday, that beautiful place where Newman went uh, in the 1840s to uh, undertake a life of kind of retirement and prayer and study. It's also there that he uh, was received into the Catholic Church. So keep praying for us everybody uh, as we study this very important figure in our Catholic history. Uh, invoke his intercession. Pope Benedict uh, declared Newman a blessed just a couple years ago. Invoke his intercession and keep praying for us. We'll pray for you. God bless you all.